Hey guys, welcome back. I'm going to do the big swipe today for my daughter. This is the little practice one I did yesterday. So basically, hopefully it'll look something like that, maybe with a little bit more of the mustard. Uh, she's uh, moved into the flat downstairs, so the walls are light grey, the furniture's grey, the floor is like a pale timber look, um, and she wants pops of mustard. So I bought her some mustard cushions and mustard towels and things like that for Christmas. <clears throat> so hopefully it'll all um, match in very nice. Oh, and the trims. The doors are white and around the windows is white. So that's why I'm adding some white. Now I'm going to just make a quick start on this, um, covering the background. I'm going to pause the video while I do it, uh, cover it all because it's going to take a while. And then I will come back to you. Uh, but I will go through a few little things first. This is the canvas. It is 20 inch by 40 inch or 50 by 100 centimeters. So that's it there. <clears throat> Pretty big one. I'm using Floetrol for my pouring medium. So all the paints have got the Floetrol. That's it there. The base coat is Montmartre black and white to make it gray. Um, and it was throwing a touch of brown. So I just added a, a little blob on the end of my stick of um, phthalo blue just to tone it down because I didn't want the brown look. So I've got two big cups of the grey for my background. As I said, that's four parts flow troll to one part paint. And then my other colours, let's pop this down quickly. I'll keep just a little bit in case I need some for touch-ups. I should always Always keep a little bit of touch-ups. Uh, the mustard that I'm using is, it's actually yellow ochre. Um, it, it's pretty close to mustard colour. So it's a Montmartre Studio Acrylic. It's a thicker paint. Uh, so it's three parts Floetrol to one part paint. And then I've got some silver, which is the Deco Art metallic that's also it's probably two and a half parts flow troll to one part paint I've just had a bit of a play around with that and then my black and white are artist love flow acrylic and those are both two parts flow troll to one part paint okay ducks so those are my colors so I'm going to spread this and I'm going to cover the whole canvas it's probably going to take about five minutes or so so I'm just going to pause the video and then I will come back to you, okay? All right, I'm back. Got some clean gloves on. Look at that beautiful, clear coating. It's like a mirror. Hello. You can probably see me in the mirror. Um, now, oh, the other thing I forgot to tell you, when I did that base coat, um, I did four parts float troll, one part paint, and then I added a splash of water as well. So this has actually got in each cup, 300 grams of Floetrol, 75 grams of paint, and 15 grams of water. And there's two of those cups. So that's the exact things that I did with the Montmartre. Righto, this is the exciting part. Now I wanna have black in the middle. I wanna have a contrast of black against this um, silver and white and the pop of mustard and this dark gray background. So I'm gonna leave a space in the middle for the black and I'm going to put, just really hard to try and find my centre, but anyway, I'm going to just go for it. I'm going to put a stripe of silver first. And again, try not to use too much paint because you can always add more later. And then I'm um, sort of going to try not to put it exactly on top, but sort of wiggle it just so that I have a little bit of contrast in what colours that I'm swiping down. Otherwise, if you swipe... If everything's on top when you swipe, you only get one colour. Whereas here, I'm going to get different different shades of colour, I guess. Anyway, you'll see what I mean when I start. So that's the middle one. Uh, and then I'm going to go with some black through there. And the other side. I'm going to start at this end because that side always gets more paint, doesn't it? <laughs> didn't quite go straight. I 
can add more paint if I want to afterwards. So I'm not putting too much on now because I can add a little bit later if I think, oh, I need a little bit more mustard in this side or maybe I need a little bit more black, then, you know, I can add a little bit more. So I'm keeping those little tubs of paint just there on the side. It's probably just out of screen, not sure, but they're sitting there on the side. Righty-o. <clears throat> I don't know how straight that is. Oh, it's pretty centred, I guess. Now I've got my sheets of plastic here. Um, I'm going to start with the wider ones because I don't want it too busy. And then I've got some, um, let's drop one. I'm going to use three sizes. So we've got that one, then that one, and then the little guy if I do need just to touch up some little edges. Um, the other thing I've done is I've rounded off the corners because I don't like the points to dig in. Now I'm going to get started because I don't want my black to, I'm losing my black already. Shut up talking woman and get to swiping. All right, let's see. I'm going to drag some of that black across. You don't want it to go all the way down on, on all of them. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That's what I'm wanting. See, I want the black in the middle there. So let's grab the black again. Some of them I will take right off the end and some I'll just leave there. Actually, I might even take them all down because then at least it's got a... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Because otherwise it kind of leaves a, a mark where you, where you stop. Oh, look at the cells, you guys. Yay! This is going to be a pretty one. Right now, I do want more black. As I said, I want a bit of black in the contrast. Um, the black touches in the granny flat. Um, black door handles. Um, <clears throat> black ceiling fans. Black taps. Or you guys in the States call them faucets, I think. Um, yeah, so it's... We've got touches of black. When I design something, I do, I choose five things and everything in the house has to be one of those five colors. So we have gray, obviously. Uh, we have white trim. We have a light timber, which is three. Uh, we have black, which is four, and then the pop colour is five. So black fans, white trim, grey walls, timber floors, timber furniture, the same tone, and our pop colour of uh, whatever colour you choose. In this case, mustard. So that's how, when I'm designing houses, um, that's, what I, that's how I do it designing colour schemes. <clears throat> I've built 16 houses in my time. I do like to build and design. Now we need, we've got some mustard there, but we're, we're losing the mustard here. So I need to put some more mustard in a couple of spots. I don't want to lose that black. I love that black. But I do need to bring the mustard through. This is where you can then go to your smaller card and just sort of swipe in between maybe. They don't all have to be the same size. Oh my gosh, look at that one. That is so pretty. I'll do a little bit more on this one and then I'll turn it around. Um, I can always come back and you know do a little bit more. Take that one right down. I, don't, I just don't want it to be too busy, you know. Um, let's pop a little bit of extra black in here. Now I just need to fix up this little guy here. And he can have a little bit more black as well. 
So this is why you don't put too much paint to begin with because then you now you've got way too much paint on the surface. So add little bits at a time. I find is always good. Actually, I might use the white on this end here. And a little bit of white here actually. Because I don't have a lot of white, do I? All right, so that's the one side done for now anyway. Woohoo! Loving it. Give a bit of a torch, pop some bubbles, not too close. Right, oh my gosh, oh now the tough bit. How am I gonna turn this baby? Alright, let's see how we go. Oh, jump down and help me you, will you, somebody? Come and give me a hand. Try and turn it without tilting it too much. Oops, it's squeaking. Oh no! Oops, oh god, I nearly lost it. I have to do this because I can't swipe away from me, so I have to go to the trouble of turning it. Alright, put it back into my little. I can't even see where my little lines were now. Oh, there they are. I think that's right. Cool. All right, let me just make sure that we're still in. I'm going to climb up my ladder. Okay, all good. All right, from, so from looking at it up there, um, I'm thinking I need more mustard. So I'll go through and add some more later. This is good. I just need some more in here, but um, I'll do that afterwards. I'm just going to fill up my little again. Having fun so far? Enjoying the video? <laughs> Hope so. I'm having fun doing it. Oh, it's nerve-wracking though because, you know, I want to do it right. Oh, I don't need any more white. Um, let's add a little bit more silver. So you don't use a lot of paint in these techniques. So I've got plenty left over. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Um, Okay, move you out of the way for a minute. I probably should only put one stripe down at a time because now this is kind of blended and moved. You know? All right, let's see what happens. More mustard there. Oh, look at that. That's what I wanted. See how you get that black in the middle there for its joining? I love that. I think it looks really nice. It just looks as if it's like one piece. So I do like that. I'm going to do the same over here because I've got black on the opposite side. I'm going to do some more there and hopefully I'll get that same look. Mm, not so much because I touched the cells, you see. Touch the cells from the opposite side. So let's try again. I have to put a bit more black there. It's the only problem, you know, if you touch the cells, you drag them through. It's better. All right, so some of them are stopping short, some of them are going down all the way, same as over there. Just so that you can see the negative space, you know, that dark charcoal colour, and that's going to look so pretty <gasps> on the um, light grey walls. I'm so excited about this one. It's going to be beautiful. Hey, 
<laughs> that's a little bit too much mustard, isn't it? Oh. Um, <clears throat> a little bit too much mustard there. Let's tone it down a little bit. Or is that nice, having that bright pop? I do need to just tone it down just a touch, though. That's better. Put a little bit of black over the top of it. Righty, oh, let's continue, shall we? Um, they don't all have to be a lot of mustard in them. Like this one's mainly the greys with just a little bit of mustard. I do need to take some mustard down here, though. Um, it's kind of getting eaten up as we're, as we're watching. It's kind of getting eaten up a little bit, so. Um, yeah, I probably need to do my stripes. One stripe, swipe, turn it around, and then lay the other swipe, the other stripe down. <laughs> Swipe, stripe. Um, I think I might just actually swipe with a little bit of white here. Um, I think I'll have to go over this middle section. Oh, I've got my, see, I've got my leftover grey, my background. So if I do make any little boo-boos like that, I can put some paint there and then just push the paint off the edge. That little bit of white there that I didn't want. So that just fixes that up. Oh, actually, I quite like that white. I will need to put some more somewhere else, hey? As I said, the trims are white and the doors are white, so it's nice to have that little hit of, of white. I'm going to put some mustard here. And <clears throat> let's do some black. And just touch a little bit of the black because I want the black to be left in the center. Not really liking how I'm missing some of the middle bits, but it's happened all the way along. So it's kind of it's not just one block. It's kind of you know zigzaggy. It's random, and I know they look like teeth. You don't have to keep telling me they look like teeth. <laughs> anyway, they do. That's okay. I love actually. I love the black. I might do some more black over here. Pull the black over the um, the mustard up that end. because That's really pretty, isn't it? Love that. Whoops, whoa, that was a bit much. Okay, let's go again. I'm just gonna put some black halfway down. It doesn't have to go the whole way. And let's go all the way down with this one. Oh, missed it a little bit. Maybe my base coat's drying a little bit. I'm not sure. But that's all right. See, I don't want to swipe too many times. Like I wouldn't go over that again because I really love that. I love those cells. I love the amount of mustard that's in there. I'm going to pop a little bit of white just on there. And let's do... I'm going to put a little bit more of the base coat on because the edges kind of dry a little bit. And then just pull some white through there, eh? Just on the corner. Righty. Oh, this is looking good. Love it. Love it. See that blob of white just there? I don't like that. Now this, I've got this weird side here. I'm going to have to fix that. All right, that's better. Okay, you guys, what do you think? Right, so I need more mustard here. Let's pop some more mustard. I want to keep that black there. There's a lot of silver here, so we'll just go over some of that. i use my middle-sized card. Um, I'll put a little bit of black above it. A 
again, you don't want to put too much paint on, you know, it'll be, it could be too much, it'll dry, it might dry weird and it might crack, so just got to be careful not to put too much in. But I do want black through the centre there. Okay, how's that looking? Uh, a little bit more mustard just through here and then I'm, oh, I really don't want to turn it again. I should have, should have done it properly the first time. I should have, hey, because I didn't think about that. Now I have to turn it again. Maybe I can go and stand on the other side. I really want to use this black as a feature and make the other colours pop. Look at the silver next to the black there. Okay, there we go, it can go all the way down. Okay, oh, loving that. Oh, so pretty. I don't want to turn it. Oh, I'm going to have to. Note to self, make sure you do one side completely before you turn it, you silly woman. Well, maybe I can go and stand on the other side. Maybe. That's um, it's kind of a shame to... But see, there's too much grey there. It's a bit of a shame, but hey, I'm going to have to do it. Um, I'll leave that little bit. Just come in here. I'll go and see if I can reach from the other side. Don't get my big buff head in, I'll be fine. How's this? Oh, look, I, I can do it. Um, let's touch the black. Okay, oh, very nice. See, it's done the like the tooth thing again, it leaves the center. That's because I'm not pushing very hard. If I push down harder, you know, I wouldn't get that, but I actually quite like that, that look. Um, it's giving me, it's actually giving me the, the negative space that I need. If I pushed down too hard, it would all be like this. Now, where else do I need some, maybe? Oh, this bit here, the tripod's right there. I'm never going to reach that. I'm going to have to turn it. I really like this, the black against the, the mustard. My mustard's kind of getting lost, you guys. As it's, as it's waiting, sitting there, it's kind of getting lost. I might actually have to try and swap the other way. I'm gonna have to try because I can't get around there. Because of the tripod, it's in the way. Now I think I'm a bit worried because I'm putting too much paint on. Shall we try it? No, no, I can't. I can't do it. All right, I'm going to have to turn the turn it around again. Oh God, can't do it. Just concentrate on what you're doing. Everything's getting stuck. Everything's moving. It's all right. I can do it. Deep breaths. Concentrate on what you're doing. You can do it. All right. Have confidence in yourself, you guys. You can do it. Put your mind to something. You can do it. Just take your time. All right. Let's do this one. That's a good amount of mustard there. Mm. Where else? I like that bit. I'll come in here under the under the black. 
just a little bit more. Yeah, I think next time I'll just do my lines as I need them rather than do them all up front. Oh, that's crooked. It's better. All right, so as I'm progressing along, I'm seeing what I like and what I don't like. And I do like the black swipe over the um, mustard for sure. So work in progress, you know, it takes a bit of time. I do like the white in there as well. So let's pop some white in there. Hopefully I haven't got too much paint now in the middle and hopefully it'll dry all right. Smaller one. Mm, that's too small. Oh well, it'll be all right. I'll just use this one. Touch the black. Might go all the way down. Leave some negative space. Okay. Now there is a time, a time comes when you have to just walk away. And you know what I mean, don't you? You know what I mean. I do want to just put a little bit more here and there should be enough black above it and we'll use the little one the smaller one and I'm only going to come sort of halfway all right that didn't work very well <laughs> that's better okay that's better rightio what do you think um Need a bit of black down this end. This whole panel here hasn't really got much black, so I need to add some more black. Just there. The silver looks as if it might have been a little bit too thin. Um, see how the silver cells have grown? Now into the black. I'll take that all the way down in there. Okay. Um, and I'm going to balance that with a little bit of black at this end here. And then I think I'm going to be done. I don't want to add too much mustard. Now some areas like over here have got more of the grey and up here they've got more of the mustard. So that's okay. You don't have to have all exactly the same. Let's pop some black just there. And here's my little baby one just to bring some of that black just on the corner there oops excuse the noise outside the man with doing the retaining walls back Sunday and he's back it's because he did a terrible job and he has to <laughs> pull it out and redo it oh dear okay um, what am I thinking? What am I thinking? I love the black through the center and see how it doesn't go all the way. It's a bit of black there, there's a bit there, it's sort of zigzagged here and there, which I think is really pretty because then you don't see that full black line and you think, oh, that's a bit much. I know, I know. <clears throat> Stop fiddling, but I just want a little bit more mustard I'll put a little bit more in my cup there I'm nearly done you guys thanks for being patient but you know this is a present for my daughter so um, I know it's taking a little bit longer but I want it to be right because it's for her and I'm not going to be doing another one I've got a lot of white on each side there so I'm not going to put any more white on just the black and the mustard i'm going to go around here where i can still reach
and let's do that. Just a bit of a, a wispy bit. So we're keeping the black, keeping the mustard. Really liking how the black's popping here and there. And uh, I think that will be it, okay? See where I've swiped a couple of times over here. See how it gets kind of more greyish? Um, so I don't really like swiping too many times, but you get the general idea. So, yay, it's done. I'm not going to fiddle any more. I promise. Actually, I might just, when I, when I take the tripod out, I might just put a little bit more mustard through this bit here where these big grey bits are. Um, I can't reach at the moment, but I think that will be the only thing I do. Are you happy with that? Should I leave it? <laughs> oh, I think it's really pretty. I'm so happy with it. Where's my little test one that I did? Yeah. There's my test piece. It didn't have as much black in it that I wanted. This one's got more black. See how the black really pops against those other colours? This is a little bit too grey. Um, and just having that bit of black in the centre there, it's just helped everything pop, so to speak. So I'm going to leave it at that. Climb up my ladder. Oh, it's only 28 minutes. That's not too bad. Oh, actually, plus the first little bit. No. All right, let me just take you down. Try not to fall off my ladder. Oh, that was a big job. Now I do have a light coming in on the left of me, so it's a little bit glary, so it might look a bit lighter than what it really is. But um, see how the, the points just sort of go off into nothingness? You've still got that negative space. Here they go all the way to the bottom, um, but then here See, they don't go all the way to the bottom of the canvas. So you still see the negative space, which I think is really important. Like, what's the point of putting down a charcoal background if you're not going to see it? Oh, look at that. The detail in that, eh? Those cells. Love that black in there. And then over there, it wisps away into the background. Um, once it's dry, I'll show you. I'm really loving the middle. You haven't got that definite line through the centre. Um, but yeah, just be careful, don't over swipe. Otherwise, you end up with more of... They're still cells when lacing, but they've, they've kind of muddied because you've swiped over them and over them. Whereas here, the lacing there is stayed nice and bright and true and we've got some gorgeous white I'm glad I added the white the silver it's just subtle you know that it mixes in with the other colors it just gives you that light gray look which is going to match the wall color that it's on and then you've got that beautiful dark charcoal which is really going to stand out lovely against the light gray wall and of course the black we really need, did need the black and that's um, going to pick up the colours in the you know the ceiling fan and the door handles and, and things like that that I told you about. So there you go. I don't know that I can actually get the whole thing in, can I? Oh, if I stand back, way back here. Oh, there's my hammer. <laughs> there's my dirty gloves. <laughs> oh, all right. So there you go. I oh, hope she loves it. I love it. Do you guys love it? So happy with it. Just that little pop of mustard, isn't it? All right, thanks so much for watching um, and um, I'll pop up a photo of the dry product and then once Christmas has been and gone and it's hanging up on the wall, I'll take you down into a flat and I'll show it to you up on a wall, okay? So we'll see how it matches in with the new cushions that I'm going to buy for Christmas. So exciting! Yay! All right, uh, I'll see you real soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.